Now, we always appreciate when you stay up late with us for First News at 10, but I especially hope you didn't doze off early last night. Major upsets in Boys B basketball. For the first time in 25 years, the Deluxe Burlington Lakers are going to the Class B Boys Basketball Tournament. Last night, the Lakers trailed the defending Region 6 champs, Bishop Ryan, by 11 points with less than three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. But they stormed back. Sophomore Jake Schaefer hit a game-winning three-pointer with 13 seconds on the clock. Jake isn't a starter, but he stepped up when his name was called. He led the Lakers with 21 points. I knew we were down by three, and I knew we needed a bucket. And coach has been harping on confidence, and I'll be honest, I've been lacking it in the middle of the season, but it's been going up right now, and I just had enough right there to bang it home. Jake looked pretty confident last night. Lakers won 80 to 77 in overtime. Rylan Olsen added 20 points. Carson Yale had a double double with 17 points and 10 rebounds. Paxton Eastos had eight assists. All around team win for the Lake Show. That sets up the final Class B basketball tournament of the two class era. Five of the eight teams will be playing for their school's last ever Class B basketball trophy as those five are moving up to the newly formed Class A. It just so happens that those five teams are the top five ranked in the bracket. Central Cass is the top overall seed. The Squirrels won the girls' B and could sweep the trophies. Shiloh Christian, might I add a team that DLB beat, is the two seed. Skyhawks are the only team from last year's B to make it this year. Lakers play Thompson, the region, the champions of Region 2, next Thursday night at 8.15. All games are at the Bismarck Event Center. In Class A, both of Minot's teams are out of the state championship contention, so both the boys and the girls' sides will have a new champion this year. This morning against Jamestown, Minot's Morgan Nygaard scored 21 points. Eric Wincheski added 20 to send the Magicians to the fifth place game. Girls just tipped off against Bismarck High a few minutes ago. I just checked and it looked like they were up 18 to 8 in the first half. The winner goes to the girls' fifth place game. Girls' semifinals were in the early afternoon. Bismarck Century is going to their fifth straight state championship game. Red River, the team that ousted Minot, going to their first title game since 1992. Joe, do you root for your rival or the team that beat you? I don't know. On the boys' side, Davies and Red River tip off in about 10 minutes. Century Boys, still the only undefeated team in the state, plays Fargo North after. Here's a pick-me-up. Minotauros are back at home. They've only played one home game in the past month. That was when they sold out the Pepsi and beat the Bismarck Bobcats. Puck drop tonight is at 735. If the snow is too bad by then and you can't make it, we'll have highlights on First News at 10. Also a game tomorrow night same time. It would be nice for a win after a tough day for Minot Sports yesterday. Yeah, still fulfilling, but yeah, a bit of a tough day, huh? We'll see you later for First News at 10. We'll be right back.